So today we're gonna be diving into a build that I'm telling you guys just absolutely explodes. Yes, I guess you can say it really explodes because that's that's what this build does. It literally just destroys everything. And with hitting seven million damage mortar shots, yes, this thing is just absolutely melting. And then you pair that up with this striker drone and everything just disappears instantly. This combo is probably one of my favorite combo to run and I've always loved it. I think it's one of those builds that you can use to car out control anything in the game. And as you guys are seeing, we literally just wiped out this full wave of enemies in seconds. But yeah, how do I have this bad boy set up? Well, let's dive into it. So for the specialization, yes, we will need a demolitionist. And that is because this is the only class that will allow you to run the mortar turret. And then if we get into the weapon, this is the one weapon you need to have on this build, the capacitor. And the reason why is because it works so good with skill builds. So if you guys haven't farmed one, recommend going to the summit and getting your first one. This one has assault rifle damage, damage to armor, health damage, and then it has the talent that is really great for this build and why we're able to hit 7 million with our mortar turret. Shooting enemy build stacks to a cap of 40, each stack grants 1.5% skill damage. After five seconds, this stack does decay one per second. And then if you look at the bottom, for each yellow skill tier, you gain 7.5% weapon damage. And that's why we're able to put out some pretty nice damage with this when we need to shoot out of cover. If we get into the build itself, we are running a three priest Empress International for the 10% skill haste, 10% skill damage, and 10% skill efficiency. Skill efficiency, if you guys don't know, skill damage, status effects, it has everything in there. That's why skill efficiency is so important in this game. Now, Empress International is part of this season seven. So definitely, if you guys are trying to make this build, we're gonna be using three pieces of it. The way we have it spec'd out is we have one skill tier, skill haste skill damage and then a skill haste mod on there a god roll piece right here Whew, doesn't this look good for the chest we went with the china light we have a two-piece china light for the 15 percent explosive damage and the 10 percent skill haste now we have one skill tier on here skill damage skill haste and a skill haste mod now the talent on here that really provides us with that amount of damage that we're getting is kinetic momentum when in combat each skill generates a stack while active and not on cooldown Stacks increase your total skill damage by 1% of total skill repair by 2%, up to 15 stacks per skill, which means we can have up to 15% for each skill, so total 30% when they're all fully active. This is probably one of my favorite skill build talents to run. I love running this over glass cannon any day of the week. For our holster, I decided to go with the Empress International. Now, this is gonna give us skill tier, skill damage, and skill haste. Now you could go with the waveform holster right here, but since a lot of you guys might not just have it yet and you're grinding for it, run with the Empress and you're seeing it works just as good. We head to the knee pads. We have our third piece of Empress. So we have skill tier, status effects, and skill damage. We did decide to roll some status effects on some of the pieces because remember, the mortar turret does cause bleed. For the gloves, we have Wyvern Wear, which gives us 10% skill damage. We have skill tier, skill damage, and skill haste rolled on here. You guys can see skill haste is a big part of this build because it allows us to get our skills back quicker, right? And then for the backpack, we are running with the name China Light Strategic Alignment. Now this gives us skill tier, status effect, skill damage, skill haste, and it has perfect shock and all. Applying the status effect to an enemy increases total skill damage and repair by 20% for 27 seconds, which means once we hit them with one mortar turret, we will have perfect shot canal on our striker drone and the turret for 27 seconds, which makes it a lot easier to keep up. You could run com combined arms, but remember you gotta keep those shots going every three seconds or you will lose the buff. So perfect shot canal is just a little bit easier to keep active than running something like perfect combined arms. But that is another great option for this build. And instead of running a two-piece China light for the 10% skill haste, well, you could run something like the Waveform Holster. If we get into the skills, we have the Mortar Turret. If you look, 3.8 million base damage. Now that is without kinetic momentum. That's without um, perfect shock and awe. That's without the capacitor buff. So no buffs here, already 3.6 million. And you're seeing that we're hitting for 7 million. And this shot right here was what, 7.5 million. So the amount of damage you can put out with this build is incredible. And check out that cooldown time, only 8.8 .8 seconds and we have it back 
that's what's amazing about it we can always have this up and running and that's why i really like this combo with skill haste and skill damage for the mods we are running the 10 percent damage mod a skill haste mod and an extra mortar turret mod now for the striker drone look at this damage 73,000, and just like the mortar turret this is not including the kinetic momentum it's not including perfect shot no it's not including the 40 stack from the capacitor and that's why this thing is just an absolute monster pairing these two up together and even when you don't have a full stack you still have so much damage in this mortar turret that might take one maybe two shots to destroy enemy and once you guys learn how to use this you guys are gonna have so much fun using it because it just gets better and better as you guys keep that stack up to 40 and then just keep dropping those mortar turrets on enemies left and right and i just have so much fun playing with this it just once you learn how to use it it's just like dropping bombs on people right from distance artillery coming in it's so much fun to use and i think you guys will enjoy it too but that is how i have this build set up and i'm telling you if you guys want to have the most damage in the group setting throw this build on and sit in the back while your team is putting down that fire and just start blasting enemies left and right and i'm gonna tell you you guys are gonna notice how much damage your striker tone is doing how much damage your mortar turrets doing and even when your mortar turrets are on cooldown your striker drone is going to be putting in that work because even by itself it's going to be destroying enemies and you'll notice a lot of times it's taking out enemies before you even have a chance to use your mortar turret and like i said since you aren't using any other exotic pieces on your gear you can actually put the waveform holster and you can get that i believe that's level 90 or 95 of this season for season seven so if you guys want to grind for that well it's a perfect time and you could tweak this build just a little bit more but i still think this build does amazing at 7 million 7.5 million just a lot of damage you get out of here so guys what we're gonna do here is we're gonna wrap up the video remember if you guys want to see me streaming live we did start streaming live on the other channel yes that's on nothing but skills live so i will put a link to that in the comment section if you guys want to go catch me live i might already be streaming so if you guys don't want to miss that head over there catch me live we'll probably be playing some division two in a little um play some survival just depends on what everybody really wants to watch in the comments so i'll see you guys later enjoy the video remember easy easy build to run one of my favorite pretty much destroys everything in seconds so i'll see you guys around thank you guys and until the next one nothing but skills out